I've never put hot sauce in my quick quick before. Okay, yeah. hmm. more. I'm scared, man. You don't have a lemon. No, I'm okay. You think really? <laughs> I don't trust you, man. Anyways, I'm sure you know what this is. This is quick quick. It's like the awesome street food they have in the Philippines. Like a deep fried kind of battered egg. But what's gonna happen is usually you see quick quick like this. It just looks orange. It sits on the side of the road. Today we're gonna try and make something unique. Because I've been thinking about this for a long time, so I'm gonna eat this quick quick, <laughs> then I'm gonna go get some ingredients to go make one, so bring it on. It's <laughs> <laughs> like quick quick, it's like quick quick. It's a, it look, oh, that's a dozen. Long. <laughs> First time. Master Bado, you might remember him actually from making Tarun. He makes really good ube uh, Tarun at his place in Nazareth. What Nazareth? Mm. What's the what's the place? The corner of Lourdes. Lourdes. Lourdes School. Anyways, so for the past eight months, I don't know why, but I've been thinking about Quick Quick and how it's made. And then for some weird reason, you know, in Canada they have like beer battered chicken. You know, like you ever seen like beer battered chicken before? I thought it would be really really cool to make some Quick Quick beer battered. So we're gonna try and make red horse quick quick. And everything you're looking at here, except for the it log, is the ingredient. So we got some flour, no? We got some cornstarch, which I grabbed earlier, baking powder, a spoon, and uh, we're gonna do a special food coloring. Usually you use orange, no? Usually orange? Yes. But uh, we're gonna use a special color, and red horse. Yeah. So this is it. This is literally, we're gonna make some freaking quick quick using beer, and see what it tastes like. I think it's gonna be good, really. Yeah, maybe. Um, how much you just whatever? No, just half the bit. Uh, half of the flowers. This is like 500 whatever. This is a cup. What do you know? No, two cups. Just 500. 500. Just whatever. 500. We don't even know what that is. We suck at cooking. Actually, battles good. Okay. Don't the game. Corn star. Corn star. It's everyone's favorite. Yeah. This much baking powder. We don't actually know how much it is, but we use the sour sour. Nice. This is so cool, bro. And that's it. What's yeah. next, bro? We poured the food. Beer already? That's it. Take it away, Bella. Wow, that was kind of smooth. Okay, how much do you think we're gonna put here? I don't know. Try 500. Ziggy. Okay, this is about one third of a jumbo of red horse. It actually smells good to be fair. Ah, it's like turning into, it really like, it really smells good. I'm not joking, like try doing this. It really smells nice. That's perfect. That's what the color. Ziggy. So this is, uh, before we go, look at that. See how it's just dripping? That's one third of a jumbo of red horse. So about one third jumbo. Now, if you've seen Quick Quick, they're usually orange. Unfortunately, they didn't have any orange coloring in the, in the store we went to, so we're gonna go with a different color. Uh, you pour it, Oscar. You just drink that horse? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just drinking that too. It's like, you go for it, I'll, I'll just do it. Here we go, adding the food coloring. Saigo, saigo, no? Howie. 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 Again. Howie. You go, Aoi! Is that that's what you say, Aoi? Yes. Excellent. Aoi! Aoi! You sound crazy. Aoi! <laughs> Look at that. Beer batter for quick quick. Hold up. Humpy dumpy. Humpy dumpy. Look at it. It works. The batter is sticking. So that's the consistency you're looking for. We just tested it. The batter really works, though. This could actually be good. Oh my gosh. Look at it. Look at what you're moving it around now. 
It log manoi orange. <laughs> they say that sometimes when they sell uh, it log with uh, orange pop in like different areas. Anyways, this is 24 eggs, and we're gonna turn these into beer battered red horse quick quick. Yes. There's one right there. There it is, it's that simple. It's just an egg, battered, deep fried. Quick, quick. Look at it, there he goes again. Ooh. So excited to try this. I think it's gonna be good, man. The batter actually smells delicious and a hint of beer to it. What do they say? What do they actually say when they do when they venture? Quick, 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 quick. Do you say quick or? How do you say it? Quick, quick. It's so not just simple, like quick, 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 quick. <laughs> I try to think how, how you know everyone has a different way they sell stuff in the Philippines. It's like quick, quick. <laughs> Sounds like I'm annoyed, man. <laughs> All right, look at this. Here we go. This one's out. Crispy. Your sperm eggs. That is we're gonna make a fighter wine hot sauce for these quick quicks. So it's gonna be beer battered red horse quick quick with fighter wine hot sauce. So my friend Bado thinks we can do this and he thinks it's gonna be good. So what are we gonna do, man? Let's do it. I think we add cornstarch, no? Yep. Okay. Cornstarch, fighter wine, and hot sauce. Ziggy, what's up? <laughs> so just straight up cooking it. Fighter and cornstarch. This entire recipe with the quick quick, we're using no water, straight up red horse and fighter wine. All right, we're gonna mix that. Interesting, man. What made you think of this? Then we would put the no sauce. the chili sauce, really? Yep. Wow. No way. It looks good. That's fighter wine, cornstarch, and chili sauce. All be mixed together by Master Bado. Oh yeah, it's, it looks good, man. It does look like a hot sauce. Add some more. Look at that. Ooh. Okay. So this is no joke. We literally just made quick quick using red horse beer. And then, put that back, that's mine, my germs. This here, this is the sauce. And it actually smells really nice. Look at that, get a close up. Man. And that was made using like this hot sauce here, this one, Kataste, that we got at my friend's place. And we mixed it and reduced it with fighter wine. So I don't even know what this is gonna taste like, but I have a strange feeling it's gonna be good because everything's been smelling good, so. Bro, should we do this? Yes. This is it, man. Yeah. Okay, red horse quick, quick. Cheers. Oh, it tastes good, bro. Mmm. It does have a little hint of beer to it. There's a tiny hint of red horse beer, but that is good. It's just straight up good, but it needs something. And I think that something is a fighter wine hot sauce. I'm excited for this. How hot is this going to be? There it is, look at that. My friends are the germs. Fighter wine hot sauce. <laughs> it gives you a kick, man. <laughs> you can really taste the fighter wine herbs. Like, give it a try. It's pretty intense, dude. It's not bad, but you really get like the kick of herbs after you try it. You want it? Mm. Whoa. <laughs> to be honest, if I had to I tell you about the taste, the Red Horse Quick Quick is actually really good. The fighter wine sauce is like a 50-50. It starts good, but then you get this really strange like kick to it, no? And right. drunk, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we did it. I did it. Let's see what the
Thomas. Okay, this is Thomas. Now, Thomas just walked into my friend's like pizza shop here in Kegan Euro. Nick's, right? Nick's? Nick's. Yeah. Nick's pizza shop. He's actually been watching my videos sometimes, which is cool. But have you ever had a beer quick quick? No. Okay, go for it, man. Go ahead. He's gonna try one of our beer quick quick. I want an honest opinion. If it sucks, just yeah. tell me, okay? You go for it. That's a red course quick quick. Uh, yeah. Do it first without, and then do it with after. So take, take a bite first and stay up. Tastes just tastes normal. Okay, it tastes like a normal quick quick, but it has uh, it makes you feel scared because there's a beer in it. That's joke. <laughs> All right, now this though, I'm gonna be honest, man. It's like it's good at first, and it kicks you like uh, good luck. This is he's gonna try with the fighter wine hot sauce. What a warning, man. Okay, no worries. You take your time. So uh, no no pressure. Fighter wine hot sauce. How did you do this? We we basically we took fighter wine. We cooked it in a pan, and then we added hot sauce and a bit of cornstarch and kept reducing it, so... Where did you learn that? Uh, we learned it about 10 minutes ago, and <laughs> we just randomly did it, so... If you don't like it, you're not going to eat it, but give it a go, give it a go. <laughs> <laughs> you got it in the final way out, so it's something else, man. It's weird, eh? It tastes delicious at first, but we knew... Yeah, that's the thing! At first, oh, I see! And it's good at first, but then it gets a weird... Yeah, when it comes to your mouth, you your mouth here. I can split. I <laughs> <laughs> sort of love that. And yeah, so, we gotta figure out a way to get the aftertaste of the fighter wine sauce differently. But it starts off good though. Yes. Alright, and that was good, but when it comes to your mouth, inside your mouth, I can explain that. <laughs> you already taste the fighter wine. Alright, man, don't worry. Thanks, so, thank you, buddy. Stay. Slava. Thanks, buddy. <laughs>